people that are growing to become so religious that uh, I don't fast because Christ died for me. But the same Christ, he said that there, are, there is a kind that does not move. The word kind, it means a type. So which means in our journey as Christians, we always meet types of situations that are number one, stubborn. Come on, somebody shout stubborn. Yeah. Number two, that are recalcitrant. Come on, somebody shout recalcitrant. Yeah. And these types, they can only move through prayer and fasting. Then the word uh, kind, it means a rest. So you find out that you will meet up and encounter races that are so stubborn and belligerent that do not move. You can come from a generation background that is very belligerent and stubborn to your prosperity and your success. The reason why some of the generations are stubborn and recalcitrant to our progress is because of the setting of our, our, our backgrounds. If I'm coming from a poverty background, it's a race that I am in. So that race, it will fight me from prospering, even though I've received Christ. Receiving Christ is a platform for me now to have access to divine possibilities. And the word kind, it means category. A group of entities that have common characteristics such that they may be grouped together. So you find out that the devil is not a spirit that is when he uh, attacks, he attacks randomly. Number one, the devil is very strategic. Come on, say, Rochelle, strategic. He is a devil that is systematic. Come on, say, Rochelle, systematic. And he's so orderly. That's why he can attack people in Africa, people in Asia, people in Australia, people in Europe, people in South and North America, and we can suffer the same consequences because he is very systematic. He cannot miss you. That's why even though you fly to Dubai, change life. Same demon that was fighting you in Africa can fight you in Dubai. Then you can live in Dubai while carrying the spirit from your village. It's possible in life. Glory to Jesus. You can be walking in the streets of New York you while smelling your village while you are in New York. Why? Because the devil is very systematic. So for us now to encounter the systematic way of the devil, we need to employ prayer and fasting. So prayer and fasting is not a way or a means of, of untwisting God that God last year I didn't make money. This year I untwist you, I'm going to make money. No. We don't untwist God so that God may release the dust of his glory upon our hearts. When you pray and fast, if you are a prophet, then you pray and fast. What you are doing, you are sharpening your gift only. But you cannot untwist God so that you become a prophet when God did not call you a prophet. We, 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 if God has not given you the grace or the actions to, to, to become a millionaire, you cannot untwist God and become a millionaire. There must be an anointing of millions in you. Then when you fast and pray, you must shatter that anointing of a millionaire in you. So that when you go out there, you have access to millions. If you are not a winner, you cannot come to Christ God through prayer to become a winner. But what you do, you sharpen your winning mentality. You sharpen your, win, your winning attitudes and atmosphere through prayer and fasting. So today is our day seven of prayer and fasting. We we're looking at this, this the book of Second Corinthians chapter four, so section six to eight, and we are praying uh, a prayer as a way to tell the devil that devil. You are nowhere near our God. Come on, Sabbath shout, devil. devil. You are nowhere near my God. You are nowhere near my God. Number two, prayer. We were saying that the devil cannot do nothing in your life without asking and permission from God. So, which means the devil, even if he plans, strategizes, you will not do anything in my life unless and until there's a permission from God. So, devil. You are not going to surprise me this year. So whatever is going to come to you, it's because he has passed it through the course of God, as he did with Job. It's timed by God. 
and we are praying and saying again 